Tonight, the federal government is back in business. The shutdown is over, but the clock is already ticking. About an hour ago, the president tweeted this, quote, big win for Republicans as Democrats cave on shutdown. Now I want a big win for everyone, including Republicans, Democrats, and DACA, but especially for our great military and border security. NIB's Andrea Nakano is here. She has more on the deal and the tough work ahead. Andrea? Veronica, President Donald Trump officially ended a three-day government shutdown tonight by signing the bill that that was passed by the House and the Senate, but the bill will only keep the lights on for two and a half weeks. Lawmakers hope it's enough time to address the fate of the Dreamers. The yeas are 81, the nays are 18. After more than 60 hours of intense negotiations, the House and Senate passed a short-term spending bill to end the government shutdown. Now the Trump shutdown will end, but Republicans' wasteful incompetence continues. This is not a moment to pat ourselves on the back, not even close. The bill got enough support from Democrats to fund the government until February 8th, after Majority Leader Mitch McConnell made a promise to bring a bill to protect Dreamers up for a debate and a vote. Now those talks can get going again. Whether they bear fruit is up to all of us. But California Democrat Kamala Harris was one of 16 senators who wanted more than a promise. She says McConnell's vow fell far short of an ironclad guarantee. Now the fate of roughly 700,000 undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children is back on the bargaining table. The Republican majority now has 17 days to prevent the Dreamers from being deported. While Senate Democratic Leader Schumer says the president was absent during the negotiations, Mr. Trump did meet with six Republicans and two Democrats at the White House today to talk immigration. He wants our children, the, the, the DACA children, to have certainty in a pathway forward, and he's counting on the Senate and the House to do their job. The sticking point, though, for any resolution on DACA, the president wants to include funding for a border wall, and success on this issue is far from certain. And everybody else in America is kind of wondering how some folks up here made it through the birth canal. Well, the bill does include a six-year extension of the Children's Health Insurance Program, which was another priority for the Democrats. The federal government will be fully open by tomorrow morning. On the Night Beat, I'm Andrea Nakano. Senator Dianne Feinstein voted against the deal, tweeting this, quote, I will never stop working to protect Dreamers. I'll continue to fight for a legislative solution now. We need to act. It is the right thing to do.